What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 5 I think of my Let's Play Ultimate Team FIFA 21 series. Uh, basically I'm going to show you what I have invested and uh, my suggestions what you should invest. Um, I mean because of your division rivals placements everyone should have you know at least 20k uh, I think that's the minimum you get for placing in division 7 or 8 or whatever the lowest is uh, most people will probably have 40 to 80k uh, depending on what division they're in so you should have a little bit of coins to invest and personally I would invest in players that have a capped price range where they are extinct so um I, I packed this Zaha, I'm just going to run through some of them. Uh, Zaha is extinct as you can see, he's currently 24k. He will definitely rise because he has uh, 5 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. 5 star skills is really, really uh, sought after. I know he's got medium, medium work rates, but if you look at St. Maximin, who is an 80 rated card with 5 star skills, I believe he has 4 star weak foot though and obviously the French connection, but he's about 60k at the minute, so he will definitely rise, that's one to uh, to invest in. This is another one, Gabriel Jesus, I think he's capped at 50k unless they've changed it. Yep, extinct at 50k, which is exactly what I paid for him. At the start of FIFA last year, I believe he peaked at about 80, maybe 90,000. His weak foot lets him down a little bit this year, uh, but four star skills, very good pace, dribbling, shooting, Premier League, Brazilian, you know, he's he's going to rise. He'll go to about 80k. This one, to any new transfer, newly transferred player that is extinct, so Thiago is a big one, 27.5k, five star skills, three star weak foot, really good dribbling, really good passing, obviously a little bit slow, but the hype around him, the fact he's a world-class player, he's just joined the Premier League, 27.5k is a steal. If you can snipe this player... He, he'll go past 50 and then he'll have his one to watch as well. So this normal card will be quite rare um, Up until he gets that Memphis is another one again five star skills three star week for these five star skillers coming in high Low work rates very very good all-round stats par defending but for a striker you don't really want that and I think he's capped at 40k yeah, and again, extinct. I don't know why EA have put these stupid um, price ranges on, but it does mean making coins is a little bit easier. I know most people might have ran out of their, their trial by the time this video comes out. Maybe I should have put it a bit earlier, so I do apologize for that. But, uh, you know, I don't know how long these price ranges are going to stay. I did pack this Gareth Bale. This isn't one I would recommend you... Um, Invest in this is just someone on my bench, so I wouldn't invest in Bale because he's already up near a, a 100k. He is only 83 rated, four star skills, three star weak foot. Again, great stats, uh, newly transferred, that kind of thing. But I think if I was to list him, his max is 150. Yeah, so he, he could rise, he probably will rise a little bit, but he's a risky investment because he's already on the high end. Uh, Dembele is. Again, you could invest in this card. Uh, I just bought him for um, my main team. Uh, I've got two main teams. Anyway, um, yeah, he's about 70k, which is roughly about the same price as Maximin, who is what I was originally going to get. Five star skills, five star weak foot. He probably will go to about 100k, uh, but because he's 83, he will get packed a lot. So I don't know. Bale and Dembele, not as much as the ones that are extinct for me. Valvard's kind of the same. Uh, Valverde, sorry. Uh, I packed him untradeable, but I mean he's going to be sought after. He will rise a little bit. Uh, I think he's about 60k at the minute. Bergwijn, this is a big one. He's capped at 20k, and uh, I think he's got four star. F oh no, he doesn't. Four star, two star. Okay, he might not go up as much as I thought, but high medium. Um, you know, very good stat again for a winger. He's not going to stay at 20k, surely. Like the minimum he'll go up to is about 30, maybe 40k. So he he's a good one if you can snipe him. Uh, other ones that have a, a price cap, again, newly transferred, Donny van der Beek, 3-star, three 3-star, three high-medium, really, really well-rounded stats for a central midfielder. He will be getting a one to watch as well. Uh, he, oh, okay, he's back on the market for 30k, so, okay, maybe this one isn't one to, to go for because that's what I paid um, when he was extinct, but he's not any, oh, no, I paid 25, so I've still made a little bit of profit, but... When he gets a one to watch, I think his price range will increase on this normal card. So it's probably still a safe one. Uh, Havertz, I should have started with this guy. Havertz is absolutely insane in this game. All of those uh, goals and assists are from rivals. Uh, four star, four star, medium, medium. Very, very good stats for a cam. 
He's six foot two. He looks about eight foot in game. This is one that will rise so much. He is capped at 85,000 coins because of the hype around him, because he's getting a one to watch. He's new uh, in the Premier League. He's the third highest uh, rated cam, I think, behind Bruno Fernandes and uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who are obviously really, really highly priced. This guy will rise to at least, at least double of what he is. Uh, so 170k at least, if not 200k to be honest. He's one, if you can snipe, get him ASAP. This guy as well, Martial, it's just stupid. I don't understand it. He was extinct at 120,000 coins. So EA decided to reduce his price to 70k. If you can get your hands on this guy, he will easily surpass 150k when the game comes out easy. Uh, he's very difficult to snipe though because a lot of people have that same... Um, I was going to say mentality, but the same uh, mindset to pick him up because he is cheap. Um, and again, mad stats uh, for a striker. Three-star weak foot is a little bit whatever. We don't know if that's the meta yet, I suppose. It was last year weak foot, but this year we're not so sure. And then finally, Werner. Werner is another one. Only three-star skill moves, but four-star weak foot. Mad pace, uh, great dribbling, very, very good shooting, high medium, and he's almost six foot. He He's just a phenomenon, and he's capped. At 200,000 coins, you can see I managed to get one for 197. I'd be surprised if this guy doesn't surpass 300k when the game comes out. Maybe even 400k. Because other than a Bomiang and um, I'm trying to think of any other pacey strikers in um, the Premier League that would be better than this guy. Probably just a Bomiang. I'm probably missing one off the top of my head. Aguero's got a pace downgrade this time. Uh, obviously, Harry Kane's quite slow. They are higher rated than him, but... Yeah, other than that, Werner's going to be like the go-to Premier League striker other than Aubameyang. So they're just a few of my investments. Um, also, another one, if I've got the coins actually, uh, is uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum. I think he's capped at about 35,000 coins and he's 85 rated with phenomenal all-around stats. You can see here, so... If you don't know, uh, oh my god, okay, sometimes it glitches a little bit, but yeah, if you don't know how to snipe, this is literally how you do it. Um, it, it is quite annoying, and obviously I don't actually have the coins, so if a Wijnaldum comes up, uh, and it's lagging, great. I am usually better at sniping than this, I, uh, well, you can tell, because I've got the cards for the, the max. Probably because I'm on video now, but yeah, you just, this is how I do it anyway. I know some people do this put like the max price all the way up and then just it's probably easier doing it like this to be honest nope they've ironed that out okay but yeah you just do this and then uh hope that one comes up um i'm really slow today what the hell the the menus are lagging a bit man what is this that's horrible but anyhow that's how you do it he, he's pr uh, price capped at 35k so uh, yeah, that would be my other investment, but that, that's just some of the investments I've got for FIFA 20. I would recommend selling either the first day that the game comes out um, for everyone, which I think is the 9th. Obviously, if you've got the ultimate, it comes out on the 6th, but I think it's the 9th worldwide. That would be when I would suggest selling or all the way up to the first um, weekend league when people will be buying any time during then is definitely where the price, uh, prices of players will be the highest they are on FIFA. So they're my investments. Let me know who yours are in the comment section. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.